All right, so I'm almost level 10 now actually and I finally figured out how, to, how the quests work here um, I actually have a quest uh, Tracked right now and uh, unfortunately there is something called teleport here basically uh, the teleporter here teleports you directly to your target and To your quest giver which for me is uh, this person right here uh, so that makes the game a little bit too easy in terms of leveling, but this is a PvP game, so the leveling part here is uh, sort of rud rudimentary. It's not really. It's, this is not the point of this game, but I'm gonna try to kill these guys. They're level 12. I'm level 9. They might actually kick my ass. So let's see if I can actually hit him. Oh shit! Oh shit! So I'm gonna have to kite this guy um, like a pro. So you can see the battles do get very difficult uh, as you level up. A lot more challenging. Um, even though these guys are not actually aggroing me, I do have to uh, kite and dodge already. I have a new skill right here, which I believe gives me shield, but it uses something called fancy points, and I, I don't really know how these work yet. How does this work? Do I just activate it? So it says it protects me for 7.1 seconds. But it just used up all my fancy points. Oh, fancy energy re regenerates, okay. So let's see how fancy this skill is. I'm gonna attack another guy. I think I have to kill... How many do I have to kill? I don't even know. It, it was a few, actually. It was quite a few. So I'm gonna start running, kiting him. Should have chosen a different class. I didn't uh, think ma uh, wizards would be so difficult, or mages, whatever, or whatever I am. I think I'm a wizard. Much more difficult than any other wizard in any other game I've played. So, okay, so I'm level 10. Um, yeah, this is actually... Very challenging because I mean, if I didn't kite, he would have me in like three hits. Uh, oh, I forgot to use my fancy thing, but I think it's still recharging. Uh, I believe I can also. Oh, I can get some more. Okay, I use this a lot, so I'm gonna upgrade this skill uh, to the max that I can. Okay, level seven. I guess I can. These I'll, I'll keep these points for later on, and I can also get. What's this? Force Tower. Yeah, let's get Force Tower. It's a pretty cool skill. I have a new skill called in oh, Increase Defense Power to Team Members by 10%. Uh, okay, for 13 seconds. That's not really useful. That's more of a group skill. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. And I also... Ooh, I have a Teleport skill. Let's, let's get that. Let's see what that does. I don't have any um, control skills yet. Mostly because a lot of them are... They don't sound very useful, at least yet. Uh, they're a, lot, a lot of them are very group related. Like I think one of them removes aggroing from me, uh, or uh, pacifies targets basically, and the other one is uh, the buff for targets. All right. So what am I doing? I'm doing number five first. Oh, there it is. Okay. What? Okay. Maybe it's broken. Uh, maybe it's broken because it's still a beta. Anyway, uh, so that's good in work. Let's get this guy. I can't cast anything else. I was gonna cast my shield on him, but I can't. I don't know why. No more fancy energy left. Alright. Uh, I have to kill four more of these guys. Alright, so I just used up that shield. Uh, it does actually protect me, but I think it only protects me from one hit. So that's not cool. Anyway, um, yeah, the wizard's definitely, uh, perfect definition of glass cannon in this game because if you get hit you oh hi this is a person uh you will suffer what's he just doing there he's just standing there okay cool um but definitely a very a very kind of a i would say even satisfactory experience as a wizard because it is challenging super fun uh this is like sort of old school um where you do need to have friend oh okay there we go i died uh, i think i still have a few more respawn thingies. Uh, you do need friends and uh, you may even need a guild to level more effectively here because uh, just doing this alone will take you really really long time. I am gonna try a different class though just for fun um, before I get into PvP if I do get to see the PvP because uh, this is actually I mean this is a really old school game but made with much better graphics than before. Well not much better but slightly better graphics than before and sort of like um, for but for definitely for older crowd or for older players that are kind of used to games like um, well, Asian style games like Lineage and um, of course the Silk Road game that was around a few years ago. All right, I'm level 11. 
So I just got teleported to the other area where I have to kill scorpions now. Um, is, he, is he attacking me? No, he's not. And I believe I have 29 minutes left to complete this quest. This, so this is a time quest. I kind of wonder what the um, reward for this is going to be. Because this is actually relatively challenging. For a MMORPG, a modern MMORPG, this is actually really hard. I don't remember having so much difficulty with a quest before. But it makes it fun. Definitely makes it fun. And you do get a lot of potions uh, to use, but I've been going through a lot of them already. So you do need a lot of potions to survive. Alright, so I've just completed my quest, teleported to the guy, and let's return the quest, see what he gives us. I believe this was level 12 quest, yeah, there you go. And he does have other quests as well. So basically leveling in this game is pretty fast, it's not very difficult. I get Ring of Chaos, oh cool, so he does give me items as well. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, what does this give us? Something. I don't know. Alright, I don't really know the stats in this game very well yet, but there you go, my first ring. I believe... Yeah, okay, so this is the selection of quests that I currently have. It goes all the way up to level... I don't know, level 59 even. Uh, there's also something called customization quest, but it, there's nothing available right now. But this is cool. This is uh, called customization. And basically these are sort of like Silk Road related quests where, for example, like right here, Silk Road Hero, if I click customize, it gives me a quest to level 14. And it's a quest to go and kill some dude. Oh, never mind. He's telling he's asking me to go and kill some kind of a creature called Naga or a person called Naga. So I'm gonna take this just to see how this is different and then try to defeat these people. Let's go and kill those Nagas. They're right here. So I could teleport to them, but I'm instead I'm going to actually walk there using my mount that was given to me for free. And my beautiful purple cat dinosaur thing so let's go and check it out and uh, uh, just uh, just as I keep going I'm, it will give me a good chance to explore the map as well explore the world so okay this is interesting there's arrows pointing in different directions so for, for PvP game um, the PV here is not as important and obviously the game is trying to you know help you level up and get you through all these levels uh, just so you can start the PvP battles um, which will be probably available later on. Um, I noticed that there's a few PvP people already around and they're, most of them are over level 40, so I have to be at, probably at least level 40 before I can compete. Uh, and that may actually take me a while. But since this is open beta, I'm not really gonna try too hard, I just wanna explore, see what this game will offer when it comes out officially. Because there's, there's going to be three factions, and the third faction is not done yet. Yeah, that looks pretty pretty ugly if you ask me but for a game that's basically trying to capitalize on lineage and silk road online i don't think graphics is going to be a big issue because there's quite a lot of old school players that would probably love to play a game like silk road again yeah it was a very popular game back in the days i'm not entirely sure why it went uh, down probably because they didn't have a really good monetary model but as you can see there is an item mall now and a cash item as well uh well, there's nothing here, but basically this is how the game will try to monetize um, their game later on. So the, yes, there will be an item shop. Hopefully it won't be too uh, pay to win. I hope it's, it doesn't turn into another Perfect World International, because games like that are not really fun. If you can buy all your weapons and all of your upgrades just by using cash, that's just not... That's not that ain't right. Alright, so these are the Nagas. I kind of thought it would be snake looking things. So that's what I have to kill for that person, dude. So let's do that now. I kind of wonder if I can do it from the horse. No, I can't. As you can see, this is pretty much uh, what I'm going to be doing for... for a long period of time until I get a new skill. If I can get like a... a slow down skill or something that can slow them down, I'll, I don't have to kite as much. But as of now, I just have to run and shoot, run and shoot because I don't really have anything else to, to do with them. I already started burning through mana pretty quick, so um, even the potions that I have right now are not going to be enough for, to support my leveling. Um, so I do have to kind of try to figure out how to do this better, because after every battle I go down to about a quarter mana left. And it takes a while to respawn as well. 
All right, just uh, unlock something called Berserker mode, and I think I have a feeling what this is. This is probably one of those things that makes me super powerful. Yeah, gives me a lot more damage, so I can actually kill things faster. Uh, this is this is something I've encountered in, in other Chinese MMORPGs. Um, not so much in Korean ones, but definitely in Chinese. I'm not sure why they like to have these super skills, but. Luckily, it's not super, super overpowered. Uh, I think I want to get like double damage. Okay, I think I killed enough of these things. All right, so I completed the quest. So let's see what I get as a reward. And I just get money and experience. Really? That's it? Boo. Well, that gave me level 15. And I think I'm going to stop this for here for now. Basically, that's uh, the game in a nutshell. It's a very, very old school um, PvP based um, and Asian in design and in the way it plays is it, it's a pretty difficult MMORPG. I gotta, I, I'm going to be very honest with you. If, if you do like your games uh, easy, if you like when the games kind of you know hold your hand as you're playing them, uh, in a sense, that's probably not the game for you. This is a very challenging game. I'm I'm going to try different classes actually just to see if there's a uh, in it a lot of difference in terms of gameplay, uh, but as a wizard, I was actually having a lot of problems surviving, died a few times, even uh, at the level 2, 3, and 4. Um, and I believe uh, PvP starts at the level 20, because I just saw a notification right here. And this is basically when you can get ganked, when other people can gank you. And since there are um, quite a lot of different factions, well, there's three factions and then there's at least two roles per faction, uh, it definitely gives you kind of a choice of who you want to be, how you want to play this. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Interxon with a first impressions video. Whoa, there's a shadow here. What? With a first impressions video of a game called Legends of Silk Road. This is creepy. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. Um, oh, it's from one of these guys. And um, I'm actually going to take a look at some other classes as well. So do check out some of the other videos I post. Uh, but this is it for my first impressions video of what it's like to play as a wizard and basically the PvE um, part of the game. I'm, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get uh, to show you the PvP, but I'm, I think it starts at level 20. So once I'm level 20, I will hopefully get to participate in PvP as well. Possibly even try a dungeon or two, because I know there's a lot of dungeons in this game and they've been kind of coming up in, um, in the world announcements here that apparently there's like special bosses that, that you can defeat with people. But yeah, this game is challenging, it's fun, it's, uh, the graphics are really bad, of course, because it's, it's based on a very old engine. But if you're not really about the graphics, if you, if you want your games fun and difficult, then this is definitely an uh, MMORPG that you may want to try. If, however, you do like your games easy, I would definitely avoid this game. Anyway, thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. Game you later, alligator.